Today, an HP ProLiant DL360 server upgrade. This server had 32 terabytes of storage with 24 gigabytes of RAM. Being that it was set up to be a basic business server, we're going to change out the video card and the Ethernet card and change out the RAM as seen here from 24 gigabytes to 96 gigabytes of RAM. As I take it apart, we'll also be adding a dedicated system drive as well as a one terabyte drive for media and other software. UPS battery backup and an additional four bays of hot swap hard drive space. <laughs> Say that four times fast. Changing out this old gigabit card to a quad port 10 gigabit card that takes ethernet cable. Giving the ability to have four computers be able to transfer their data between each other off of the new NVMe ultra fast hard drive. The switcher we'll be using has 48 1 gigabit ports and four 10 gigabit LAN ports. This PCIe card we'll be putting on this system hard drive and a hard drive that is a one terabyte NVMe. Media for the virtual reality windows, additional software storage, and page buffer storage for the RAID controller. This should all greatly enhance efficiency and speed as well as allowing me to use it as a Plex server and a gaming computer. This is the video card we're changing out that has one gigabit of memory that can run a standard computer monitor. Replacing it with a four port video card with four gigabytes of memory, allowing me to run another virtual reality window in the garage with a big screen TV, allowing the grandkids to do some gaming. I have to change the plate to a small form plate on the PCIe card. Assemble it all into the PCIe module and install that into the server, all with some help from a ferret. Now we have the RAID controller, the LAN port card, the video card, and the two NVMe hard drives. Here you can see the 96 gigabytes of RAM memory as we button this down and plug in a wire or two. Because the video card being installed in a server instead of a computer case, I had to change the direction of the video card fan motor to be able to suck the air in from the front of the card and the back of the card to expel it out of the case. There are eight very strong fans that blow the, the air from the front of the server case through this card and out the side and the back of the case. With the two redundant power supplies and the eight fans, there's 11 fans total that are very loud. As we close this case up, we're going to test it to see how loud this thing really is. This server gets a lot louder under load, so I am going to make a homemade box with some drywall and other things to deaden the sound and to direct the airflow from the front to the back. The most expensive part of the project was purchasing 12 14 terabyte enterprise hard drives. The four extra hard drives will be split between two workstations that I do the media editing and rendering on. So I'll power through getting the hot swap drive brackets installed so we can get these in the server and get this going. There will be four bays in the server with an additional four bays and a hot swap box that I'm going to Frankenstein into the box that's going to make this whole thing quieter. For a total of 112 terabytes of hard drive space. After I raid them all together I'll have 96 terabytes of hard drive storage and the system storage that I've added. Here's the Frankenstein box that I built with the power supply for the extra four bays of hot swap storage and the cable that runs it from the server to the extra storage. The server will still be able to slide in and out of the box for maintenance and other work that I have to do. And now I'm going to show you how loud it is in stages.
really hope you enjoyed the video of my economic journey of building a home server. The hardest part was coding all the IP addresses in the non-Cisco switcher I used, but that's a video for another day.